Hello YouTube friends, what's up guys? This is the Beard Biker and we are back again. Okay, our video today is all about rim change. So I will gonna show you how to change the rims of your bicycle and I will show it to you how to do it in the easiest way possible that even if you are still a beginner you can do this one at home and the good thing about this one it can save you money and also save your time. Five. Four, three, two, one, go. All right, going back. So uh, I have here a twenty six of rims. Um, actually this is came from my dirt uh, jump bike and uh, I got also a new uh, spank uh, rims it's a 32 holes and it's a red in color so uh, uh, we're gonna go to uh, going to change this one and uh, I will show you how um, I'm going to do it that you know that can uh, save time and also uh, save money because uh, you know in the Philippines um, in the bicycle shop you can do a uh, wheel building but that will gonna cost you like around uh, 500 pesos for the wheel building and then for the wheel throwing you can uh, pay per wheel or per rims for that one is for 200 to 250 pesos so uh, it will gonna save you money if you know how to build it but if you don't know how to uh, throw your wheels then you can just uh, bring it to the bike shop and then uh, pay like 200 uh, pesos per wheel to throw it so uh, you save like 300 pesos per wheel like for building it since that you can do it on your own so what we're doing here right now um, I'm using a uh, paper tape and I'm putting I'm putting the paper tape between the crosses of the spokes uh, that will gonna prevent the spokes to uh, uh, tangled so it will gonna be on that place so as you can see there the crosses of the spokes was taped so that uh, it will not gonna move if we uh, remove the rim and I'm doing it on the other side right now so probably each uh, each side that will gonna be like uh, 8 tape so total in 16 both sides I'm gonna do it like in a closer video like this one so you can see right now the cross uh, spokes was taped okay so since I finished uh, taping all the crosses from both sides, so eight from the left and eight from the si uh, right, so I'm trying. I'm starting to remove the spokes right now. So I'm using the uh, uh, spokes uh, spanner. Call this one. I don't know. It's a nipple spanner. So removing this one is on the, just uh, doing it counterclockwise. I'm trying to lose all the spokes first before I, uh, I'm going to remove it one by one, and then after that, I'm going to show. I'm going to show you. Uh, what it looks like for uh, you know for removing the rims and how the spokes looks like so the pattern we're gonna be still there and it we're gonna be still the same so I'm, I'm uh, doing it fast forward actually so that the uh, you know we're gonna save time in our video and by the way guys if you are new to this uh, channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for your next video that I will be uploading I'm going to do it in English right now so uh, I believe that all my uh, Filipino friends can understand <laughs> English, so I'm just uh, writing it up so that the other people also can, and, uh, you know, can understand uh, what I'm saying here and what I'm doing. Uh, it's a matter of helping them. Uh, maybe you know this uh, video can help you guys how to uh, do rim change. So since that the spokes are loosened right now, so I'm going to remove it. I'm using a small flat screwdriver to remove it. So you can see that I'm still doing it in counterclockwise though removing it one by one yeah like that so it's uh, very easy to do actually 
actually. Uh, even me and my first time, I really don't know how to lace the uh, spokes to the rims. I just uh, did it like, you know, every day doing a practice and practice until I know how to lace it. But uh, this uh, video that I'm uh, showing you right now is how to do it. Like if you are just a beginner, if you don't know how to remove it or to uh, uh, put the new rims on your on your tires and uh, you want to save money. So this is the video that uh, fits for you, especially in the Philippines, you know, it's very expensive. If you go to the bike shop, they ask like 500 every wheel to uh, remove the rims and change it to another one. So that one gonna save you money though. So it's better to do it in, uh, in your home and then once you replace it, then you can go to the bike shop and then you can just pay them 200 pesos for the wheel drawing. And that's it. And by the way, this rim is a bit old and has a dent already, you know. Maybe. Uh, maybe this one was um, hit in by the pavement, I think. So, this is it right now. This is the outcome. I'll remove it in a drawing stand right now. And as you can see, the rim was also was uh, already separated from the spokes and I'm just removing some a few nipples to remove the rims alright as you can see right now uh, the pattern is still there um, because of that tape you will see the pattern is still there like that alright so it's a very very uh, nice idea for me that if you follow these steps uh, you don't need to do lacing again all you just need to do is just put the, your rims in the middle or put this thing in the middle this the hub and the spokes in the middle and uh, you can start at the uh, uh, valve hole so that uh, you will not gonna you will not gonna be confused so I'm using like a, a scotch tape here just to make it a stand to put it like this and then um, I'm going to put the rims right now I have the spank here spank red rims yeah it's a red one I like red color by the way okay see that <laughs> okay GoPro stop recording okay so this is uh, what I'm telling you this two spokes here as you can see they are not crossing and then the valve hole is in the middle so in that point that's the, the uh, starting point for you to put it one by one as you can see right now it's in the uh, uh, I'm uh, already putting some of the uh, spokes and nipples here and it should be alternate so if the first um, spokes that you put is from the left, the next must be a right. That's the pattern. And once you got the tape on your spokes, be sure that it will not get removed when you're doing this thing, when you're doing to uh, returning the, the the spokes, so that uh, you're not gonna be uh, confused if which spokes you will be putting in. So make sure that your tape is uh, fully, uh, the, the two cross uh, spokes are fully taped so that it will not gonna move or remove. So that's it. Okay. I'm almost done actually here. Uh, I'm just putting some few nipples here because if you're uh, going to put the last like 10 nipples, um, you cannot do it by using the hand or screwdrivers because um, the spokes is not really uh, reaching the hole of the rims but you were gonna do adjustments after this so you're gonna push in and out the hub so that the spokes were gonna be stretched and uh, you know the movement will be gonna will gonna be balanced in the uh, rims in the hole of the rims so you can see here Alright, it's almost done here. 
okay so that's it that's a video actually so uh, what I'm doing there I'm just uh, trying to flex it so that uh, you know it's like a massage you know um, doing a massage on the spoke so that everything will gonna be gonna be um, um, the same uh, strength or tension even though that I'm not uh, tightening it so what I'm doing I'm using as well again uh, also again the uh, I'm using again the flat screwdriver to uh, tighten it a bit all so that I can tighten it although me I know how to uh, uh, throw the wheels right now I know how to throw or align the wheels so it's okay it's okay for me but for you guys if you don't know how to align the wheels but if you follow these steps if you have a new rims and you want to uh, replace it on your own follow these steps I hope this one will gonna help you guys uh, in this video and uh, that's it that's it guys it's very easy we're gonna save you time save you money and uh, the most important thing is you learn you learn another technique or another uh, trick on how you can uh, change your rims in the easiest way possible using a tape actually if you don't have a drawing stand in your home you can just uh, put your bike upside down and then remove you know remove the tires first then put your uh, bike upside down and then you can use the frame as a drawing stand and uh, how you can do it all right so that's it so thank you very much for watching guys and right say this is uh, the beard biker again and have a good night Joss yeah 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 yeah